Hi everybody, I am Dori from Build a Better You Yoga. Um, I came down today to do some movement and thought that I would share it with you. It is uh, in the 30s today, 30 Celsius in Montreal. God bless those people that are out. Saw a couple people jogging today. For me, just walking my dog is stifling. You come back and you feel like all the energy is drained from you. So I still came downstairs because I feel like I need a little movement practice. And as I said, I want to share with you a nice um, practice that will um, build some energy in the body and yet keeps us close to the floor. Not super crazy active, but enables us to feel um, strong and ready to take on the rest of the day, whatever that might look like for you. Okay, so welcome to Build a Better You Yoga. Grab a blanket from up for underneath your knees. You could be practicing on a carpet, a floor, um, or yoga mat if you have. So no other props necessary. Just if you've got sensitive knees, grab a blanket and let's get to it. So we're gonna start on all fours, hands and knees. Remember that your knees are hip width apart, not too wide and not touching. Walk your hands as far forward as you can so that your shoulders are above your wrists and yet you're not back here all compacting your spine. So just start by lengthening right here. Sometimes I just like to stay in this all fours position and just feel like the crown of the head is lengthening away. Don't let the head drop. Press into the earth and just feel nice and strong while you're here. Arms are strong. All 10 fingers pressing into the earth. Take a moment here and start to cat and cow and bring movement to the spine. As we inhale, we look forward, let the belly drop, tailbone goes up. If you've never done this, watch one or two. As you exhale, chin comes to the chest, I press into my hands, round my back up towards the sky, and repeat a couple of times. Relax the shoulders as you breathe in, smile if it helps. Exhale, press into the earth, round your back and squeeze the navel up to the spine as you breathe out. Remember that the breath is super important, so marry the breath to the movement. Breathe in, do this at your own pace. And as you breathe out, press into the earth and round. So this is one of the magical things I love to start with, inhaling, bringing movement to the spine. Exhaling, rounding. Just do a couple more, two more perhaps. Inhaling, relaxing the shoulders as you look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, navel to spine, breathing here. Exhaling, emptying completely. Last one, breathing in, looking forward, and then rounding it all in, chin to chest. Good. So let's walk our hands one palm length further. Start to get a little more, a little strength building into the body. As you come forward, engage your core. Make sure you don't let your belly drop because this will hurt your lumbar spine. So scoop the belly in nice and firm. Arms are still strong. Press into all 10 fingers. This is our modified plank. And then just press into the earth. Leave your hands where they are. Sit your hips towards the back of the room. Stretch into your first child's pose. It doesn't matter how far back you reach. And let's do a couple more slow ones. Inhaling, just feeling the core engage here. Shoulders should be right above your wrists. And exhale, keep your hands where they are. Push the mat away from you. Feel yourself creating space in the ribcage. And let's do a few more as we're flowing with our breath. Make this feel really yummy in your body. Inhale, core engages. Exhale, let it all go. Couple more at your own pace. The toes can be tucked into the mat or flat. I just put the tops of my feet flat into the earth as I start to sit back further and further. Please remember there's nowhere that your hips need to reach. However you're doing this is right. As long as it feels good in your body, you're not going to a place of pinching or pain. And let's start to feel the core engage again as we come forward. And now feel your rib cage extend and spread wide as you exhale. Just feel length in the whole side of the body, both sides. One more, inhaling forward, shoulders relaxed right above the wrists. Exhaling, sitting back. Let your forehead come down to the floor if it feels good, or bring your hands directly underneath your forehead if you need support here. And wherever you are, just feel your rib cage expand and contract as you're breathing. Take a moment to just feel the breath fill you with energy on the inhale. 
And just practice letting go on the exhale. It is a practice. Letting go is a practice. Take two more full breaths here. Feeling yourself on the inhale, feel the rib cage expand. And with the natural contraction, feel yourself sinking just a little bit more. One more breath here. Good. Let's meet back on all fours. So bring the palms directly underneath the shoulders. We'll start to do some nice shoulder, sorry, some nice hip stretches. So going side to side. And you can keep your hips right above your knees, the way I'm demonstrating here, if that feels good. Or you can sit back a little bit more. And if you're sitting back, use the hands to press the mat away from you. And let's just change directions. So whichever way you were circling, let's go the other way. Just smile as you're doing this. Feel how good this feels in your body. That's all we're looking for today. And then coming back onto all fours. Good. Let's send the right leg back and point your toes and your right knee down towards the floor. So you don't want them open towards the side. See if you can square off your hip. Good. I'm going to press into my right hand. I'm going to curl the left toes underneath me for support. Take my right arm out. This is called sunburn. So very strong foundation in that right hand. Flexing the right foot all the way to the back. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, bring your knee and your elbow underneath you and round. A couple more breaths here. We're really working the core balance. Inhale, extend the arm, extend the leg. As you exhale, bring it all underneath you. Inhaling length on both sides of the body here. Exhaling elbow and knee meet underneath around the navel area. One more, inhale length, press your heel away from you, reach the arm forward, exhale round. Good, let's bring the knee back down to the floor. Curl the toes underneath you, one downward dog today, just for fun, lifting the hips up high. You wanna let the head go completely here, reach your tailbone up towards the sky. And you want to think of just allowing the rib cage to fall towards your upper thighs. Let's pedal it out a little bit. Press one heel back and then the other. Feel yourself creating space in the hamstrings here. Press all 10 fingers into the mat. Really letting the head go completely. Good. Let's meet in downward dog. Come up onto your tippy toes. Press your heels back just a little bit. They don't have to touch the floor. One more time, come up on your tippy toes. Press your heels back. And then slowly looking forward and dropping the knees back down to the floor. And let's come to sunbird on the other side. We'll take the left leg to the back of the mat. Are we having fun yet? Square off your hips towards the floor. So left knee and left toes looking down at the mat. Curl the right toes into the mat. When you're ready, extend your right arm out. We're going to keep the gaze down right below the nose, down towards the mat, so that the back of the neck is long. Inhale, lengthen the right arm. Press the left heel back as you exhale around. As you inhale, flex the foot, reach the arm forward. And as you exhale around, elbow and knee, knee underneath. And let's do two more. Inhaling length. Exhaling rounding. Remember to practice your full exhale, navel to spine breathing. One more. Flex the foot. Reach the arm out. And exhale round. Good. Let's come back onto all fours. Let's take the right leg to the back of the mat. And just bring your knee forward, as far forward as you can, in between your hands, or close to the hands. And then just send your left leg back, this is pigeon pose. So you can have, depending on the mood you're in today, you can have a more active pigeon. You're sliding the left leg as far back as it'll go. 
You're letting your right hip settle to the right side, towards the right side of the mat. Come lightly up onto your fingertips, scoop the belly in and get nice and tall. And as I said, if you're more in the mood for a relaxing posture, come down into sleeping pigeon and bring your forehead down to the floor or to your fists. For those of you that have never done this before, your right hip is just settling in towards the floor here. It's not touching the floor. The left leg is slid back and bring your forehead down. This is called sleeping pigeon or a more restorative version of the practice. And if you want an active pigeon, you pick yourself up, you lengthen the spine, crown of the head comes up towards the ceiling, and you want to be light in your fingertips because if you dump all the way down, you're not using your core. So use your core to lift here. Okay, let's go back to the other direction here. From here, plant your palms into the earth again, and just bring your right leg back underneath you so that you're on all fours where we started. Nice and easy, keeping it close to the floor today. Too hot outside to do much else. Take your left leg to the back of the mat, and then bring your left knee forward underneath you. Bring it as far forward as you can. Drop the lower leg onto the floor, and send your right leg to the back of the mat. So the right leg just slides back, Notice how your left hip will kind of come off to the side, towards the side. And here's active pigeon, very light in the fingertips. Walk your shoulders back as far as you can. Make sure there's no pain or pinching in your lumbar spine. Scoop your belly in and up, like you're trying to get into your skinny jeans. Crown of the head pulling up towards the sky, very light in the fingertips. If you've practiced before, you want to go even further, you can bring your hands to the heart here. Relax your shoulders, keep your gaze and the shoulders forward, head on with the front of your mat, and allow the left hip to just kind of soften. Or you've got your fingertips on the floor. Or you've chosen your restorative pigeon. Take just another breath or two, wherever you are. And then we're all gonna plant the palms into the earth. Curl the back toe underneath us, lift up off the floor, and come back to all fours. So I'm just going to do another few little hip circles here, just because I always feel I feel yummy in my body. Obviously, you can do any other stretch that feels good in your body here. Today, I'm in the mood to end nice and strong, so I'm going to plant my palms underneath the shoulders. Curl my toes underneath me, send the legs back a little bit, plank pose. So if you want to come into plank pose with me, just make sure that all your weight is not on your toes. Walk your toes in a little bit so that as you push the heels back, you're on the balls of your foot, the widest part of your foot. Now separate the fingers wide. Widen your shoulders so that your shoulder blades come away from each other. Without moving, see if you can make your shoulders wider. You're probably pressing a little more into your pinky fingers now, so push at just as much into your index fingers and your thumbs. Press the heels back a little bit more and engage your core. Just to end strong here. Your gaze should be right down at the mat, or right down at the floor in between your hands. Back of the neck is long, don't let the head fall. Let's take another few breaths here. Reconnect to the breath. Soften into that breath, strong body. Bring a little ease back into your breath now. It might not be obvious. One more breath. And slowly come back down to the floor. Let's do a wide-legged child's pose. Separate the knees wide onto the mat. Toes might come in towards each other. Sit back one more time. And you can extend the arms. You can bring them back behind you and so that your fingers are reaching towards your heels. You can bring the fists underneath your forehead, lots of different options. Take a couple of moments just to settle here, a few breaths. Let your natural breath return back into the body. Invite ease into the body with the next few breaths. 
If you want to add a grounding mantra, that will help you stay present in your practicing and you feel that mind is flighty today. With the inhale, just say, I am to yourself. And with the exhale, just say present or the word grounded, if that fits better for you. I am, as we breathe in, present or grounded on the exhale. Let your shoulders soften. Feel like your body's kind of getting heavier as you exhale. And then we can slowly come back up. I hope that this practice helps you to meet your day with energy, feeling strong, ready to take anything on. And I wish you a wonderful day. Stay cool, stay safe. And I will see you back again soon on the mat. Namaste.